All right, everyone. Good uh, morning, and welcome to our Fit Fifty team. This is uh, this is our movement program for today. Let's get myself centered here. Okay, good stuff. Standing nice and tall, everyone. Let's just rock our body weight a little bit side to side. Let's get warmed up. Just some light body movements, and let's come back to that center position. Lift your heels up and down a few times. Heels up and down. Rock your body weight. And with our arms by our side, we're going to start to just lift the shoulders up, tuck your head down, take a big breath into your belly, and lower the shoulders down. So we want to create the space between the tops of the shoulders and the earlobes and leave that space there the whole time. Okay, good stuff. Now we're just going to take a couple of minutes to breathe here. Breathe in and out nice and slow and deep through the nose. Maybe bring the right hand to the belly and the left hand behind you. So you're trying to breathe into this space so keep the chest calm breathe here breathe in through the nose nice big breath coming in and nice big breath going out cycle through some of those breath coming in breath coming out maybe four to five seconds of length on the breath in four to five seconds on the exhale going out repeat that and try and stay with this breathing pattern as long as you can. And arms by your side. Let's turn the head over to the left side. Get a bit of a stretch onto the right side. Keep on breathing. And come back to center. Turn your head to the other side. Come back through center. Look up. And then look down. Head goes back to center. Turn your head to the left. Drop the ear to shoulder. Let's do a head circle to the right side, really stretching it out this morning. If you want to try a different arm position when you're doing these head circles, you can take the arms behind you and hold on to the elbows as well. This keeps the shoulders down. And you can typically get a pretty nice stretch in this position when you're moving through these head circles with the arms back. Okay, and then back to the neutral, and we turn to the right side. Drop the ear to shoulders, look up, and do a big circle in the other direction. Nice, big, slow, sweeping circles. We'll do about three or four of them. We'll just stretch out this neck space. And back to neutral. Okay. We're going to stretch out just a little bit more. Take the right arm off to the side. Or again, you can tuck the arm behind you. The intention is to keep the shoulder away and down. Then you look to the left, hold on to the side of your head. And as you look up and peek up, just draw the head down a little bit. Engage that tension level. Not too much. Just a good five out of ten or so. And then start to look down. Again, hold that tension. Look through the underarm. Let the tension go as you come back and release your head. We'll switch to the other side. Tuck the left arm under. Look to the right. Hold on to the side of your head as you drop the head down. Just a little bit of a tip here. And now look up. Look down. Look through the underarm. Release the tension, and then let that go. Just move your head around a little bit. Okay, good stuff. We're going to lift the arms up. Let's just do some slow finger movements. Get into those fingers. Nice finger movement. Now make a fist. Opposite fist, opposite side. Fist, fist, open maybe a little quicker. Just cycle through some of those. Now make two fists, try and keep the arms steady and just move through the wrists. So flexion and extension, up and down, maybe opposite. Neutral, side to side. And then you're just gonna do some circles. Circle with the hands through the wrist space as much as possible, okay? And then we're gonna bring the hands together Elbows close to your body. Keep your palms touching as you move through some circles. There you go. 
really nice nice big circle here other direction range of motion here is really critical so we're trying to move through all ranges of motion so we can just move uh, in a real fluid type fashion here this will um, ease up any gunk that's built up through the joints and tissue of our body as we do some of these lighter movements and then we let the elbows freely move and again try and do a some kind of rotational movement do it slowly and our bones are just a bunch of sticks right we're a bunch of sticks yet we're able to create these really nice fluid movements if you think about it okay other way other direction Nice, healthy joints can create these great movements. Okay, we're going to lift the elbows up. And let's move through that wave-like action. I think my wave's getting pretty good. You guys too, nice and slow here. Okay, other direction. So I'm going to go this way now. And notice one side over the other. This way, for sure, for me, feels a little bit buggy. The other one is a little bit more natural, and this feels not as natural for me to do. I have to really concentrate on doing this movement. Okay, and we'll release and shake that out a little bit. Okay, let's just move the arms up and down, up and down. And again, I'm trying to do this movement without any of the spinal movement at all, just the separation or um, isolation movement of the arm up and down. Now let's start to reach back as if we're swimming. Do it slowly. Try not to turn your body. And if you turn, that's okay too. We're just trying not to turn. So keep the, the ribs going forward, if you will, as you reach back. Think about reaching back into the car seat or maybe swimming backwards. So it's up, you reach, and then up and reach. Reach, reach, reach. Really exaggerate this type of movement without moving the rib cage if possible. Let's do both arms. So the idea here is not to do this type of stuff. We just stand straight, reach back as much as possible without puffing the ribs forward. So we isolate the movement more to the arms. Okay, now we're going to go forward. So you go back and then forward. Okay, good stuff. Let's lift the right arm up. Drop the hand behind you, keep the elbow high, hold on to that elbow, and do a little bit of a tip to the side. So you're just going to tip your body weight to the side a little bit as you look up. And you should feel the stretch pretty much at the back of the arm, going down a little bit to the side as well. Nice big tip here, and then go to the other side, and we switch. One more time this way, hold on to the right elbow and then tip your body to the side. One more this way. Okay, good stuff. Up the arms down, just move that around a little bit. Let's take the arms up, bend at the elbows. Your hands are open and then we just press the arm down as far as you can go maybe a little more and then open up open up maybe a little bit more so external rotation internal rotation and avoid this type of movement if possible just work through the arms and then open close maybe opposite even let's do opposites try and keep the elbow up to shoulder height so we're not dropping the elbows they stay high as we move through this range of motion. And do the last one. And let that go. Whew, I find that in my one shoulder, that really goes in quite deep. 
Okay, let's move through the upper spine segment a little bit. So the upper upper is the neck and that's just this movement. And we're going to put a bit more movement and go into the mid back section. So you're gonna take your hands out wide. And this time we're gonna get a little bit of a back bend here. So it's totally good to do this little bit of a movement more into extension here. Look up, take a big breath. And then when you exhale, round over, bring your elbows together and tuck those elbows into your rib cage roll over a tiny little bit and then come on up and then open that up look up and then you bring those elbows together you know, roll the spine more rounding position and then you come on up open and repeat so we just do a couple of these Nice big stretch. These are all good things you can do first thing in the morning when you get up as well. And open that last one. Okay, good stuff. Pardon me. Okay, a little bit more movement here, more rotational movement still in the spine. Now, you're going to either hold on to your elbows or hold on to your uh, um, shoulder blades behind you. So you're going to try and give yourself a little hug and a little squeeze. Maybe take your feet a little bit wider. What we're going to do is just some rotational movement of the upper body. So rotate and create some circles. Any amount here. Try and exaggerate the movement. Do it slowly. Nice big circles. And then we'll go in the other direction. And we'll come back to neutral. Okay, good stuff. Pelvic tilt. Pelvic tilt. Remember the bowl of water. We're full of water here. When we tilt, we dump the water out. When we tuck, we pull the water back in. So hands onto your lap, bend your knees slightly, arch your back so you're dumping the water out. This is the anterior or frontal pelvic tilt. And then when you exhale, you will tuck your tailbone under to bring the water back into the bowl. So you inhale to release and then exhale to tuck. Inhale and exhale. Slight movement here or maybe a greater movement if you can get it. So quite a bit of movement through the pelvis moving forward and back. Just cycle through a couple of these. Not too much weight on the um, the hands here, right? So you want your core to support your body weight. And do the last one. And then we stand up. Okay, good stuff. Take the feet over a little bit wider. Bring your hands onto your hips. Let's just rock our body weight a little bit side to side. You can roll off your feet, but control the movement. So we roll onto the edges of the feet, both inside and outside. As we create this little rock and notice my upper body is not moving. I'm staying right on top here. Okay, now you're gonna bring your feet down, but continue the same movement. So how far can you actually go when you just go to one side without leaning? So I'm not leaning, I'm standing tall here. I'm just trying to move this part. So maybe some range of motion and then check the left and the right. Even bringing the hands and fingers like this, I can feel this movement right in here. And that's where you're trying to move into and get the experience of feeling this tissue movement right in this space. And the more you do this, the range of motion starts to open up and you'll be able to go further and further and further. Again, for all my golfer friends out there, this is really a great simple uh, movement to do to open up the hip space in this lateral side to side movement. And then I'm just going to start to do some circles now. And I'm trying not to move my upper body too much, just enough so that the range of motion can increase, but not aggressively tipping in either direction. I'm trying to really isolate this movement right from here. 
This is the pelvis rolling on the leg bones, the top of the femur on both sides. Nice big circular motion. Remember, think about that mortar pestle. This is what's happening in that hip joint, roughly. It's that type of a joint. And then we go in the other direction. Again, squeeze and relax any muscles you need to to create a nice big sweeping motion, but try and keep the upper body fairly straight if you can. Okay, good stuff, and we're gonna let that go. Okay, we're gonna move through our clock segment with our right leg, then the left leg. So you're going to extend that right leg forward, go out a little bit, and think about the front portion being 12 o'clock. Now you can either just slide your leg to one and then work your way all the way back to six or seven o'clock, or lift and move through that digits of the clock. And again, notice when you get back here, oh, there goes my water, the tendency for us when we're tight is to do this type of action. You're gonna try and stand up straight when you move the leg, okay? As much as you can. Hold on to something if you need to. If balance is a bit of a challenge, otherwise you're just gonna try and stand upright. And then you work your way back to 12 o'clock, maybe even go to the other side where you drag the leg across a little. And so again, up and then out, trying to control this movement as much as you can without too much tipping. And just do the best you can. This is a progressive type movement. So we try and balance. Pretty easy when I come to the front, not so easy when I start to go to the back. All right, and we switch. Let's do the other leg. And this time we're going from 12 to back on the other side, 11, 10, and all the way back down, up and around. And then notice how this side compares to the other when you do it. Maybe it's a little bit easier, maybe it's the same, maybe it's a bit more challenging. Uh, definitely a bit more challenging for me, I find. I think I'm leaning more when I do this. So I'm just gonna try and stay upright, move the leg. Take your time and do your own timing. Just your own timing. You don't have to follow me. Do one more. Okay, and take that to the back. Good stuff. And then work your way back through center again. Back to the front. And let that go. Okay, just a couple more circles. And then we're gonna get into our 20 minutes of working out this morning, 20 minutes of cardio workout, that is. We're already working out. <laughs> so 20 minutes for cardio. Okay, blow your nose, make sure you have a little bit of a sip of water. I'm gonna get our timer on and we'll get going. Okay, let's get our, our timer going. Okay, 20 minutes on the clock. And let's just all go, go, go. Once you're in the position, just start to march in position, move, move, move. And let me just, uh, I'm gonna change the uh, soundtrack here, so bear with me. Keep on going, gang. Just start to march in a standing position. Good stuff. Okay, I'm good. Let's just go. Good stuff, 20 minutes, nice vigorous movement. Let's uh, start to pick up that pace. First minute here, we'll just get nice and warmed up. Get the arms moving, legs moving as well. I'll do my best to try and keep up with you. I'm not gonna go too, too quickly. Great job, everyone. Looks good. All righty, let's start to walk forward, start to walk back. 
Remember to look straight ahead, maybe up a little bit. Avoid looking down. There's no need to look down. We want to stay tall, move forward, move back, keep the arms and legs going. <laughs> good, 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 good. All righty, back to center, center position. Let's just march it out for the next 15 seconds. Great, side to side, shuffle your feet side to side, side to side to side. If you're on the yoga mat, just use the width of the yoga mat. And then move side to side to side to side. Great movement. Let's go. Let's go. Move, move, move. And uh, we go back to the middle and let's reset for 15 seconds. Great job. Let's go. Overhead arm sweeps, big circle, reach up, come down, up and down, up and down. To make the movement from the shoulder, elbow straight. Up, down, up and down. Legs are moving, arms are moving. Make sure you're breathing. Ten more seconds. Bring your arms down and let's go back to marching. Good stuff. Let's go. All right. We're gonna to move to the side, lift, uh, we can move the arms through as well. So a bit of a sweeping with the arms as one leg crosses over the other. And bend your knees quite a bit here when you're doing this movement. So we're avoiding the leaning. We're not leaning forward. We're standing up. We're bending the knees to create the movement. Yeah? Good. Back to the middle. Let's go to reset. Great job. Okay, we're gonna move through some rotation. Take your legs wide. Rotate from here. Let's punch to the side. Rotation, just upper body. Punch and punch. Punch, punch, punch. That's good. Nice vigorous pace here. Legs aren't moving, so we double time the punch. Good job, 10 more seconds, double time. Let's go, double time. And you're bringing your legs back. Good job, everyone, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna to step to the left and forward and do that clap. So I'm going to step, clap, step, clap, step, Clap, step.
10 more seconds. Great job, gang. Looks good. Back to center and let's march it out. Okay, we're gonna punch out again, except this time we're gonna move our legs as well. So either in this position or try and go a little bit wider and let's just punch. You're gonna punch down, punch straight, punch up. And then you cycle through, up and down. Okay, we're trying not to lean forward, stand tall. Move your legs and then punch up and then punch down. Up and down. Fifteen more seconds. And back to that center, good stuff. Okay, let's do some arm swings. Reach up and down, up and down, up and down, up, down, up and down. Control this movement, gang, so the arm, elbows are straight here. Up and down. Up and down. Try and take those arms behind you, yeah? Up, behind, up, and behind. Full range of motion. One more. Drop the arms, go back to center, let's reset. Bring the hands up, we're gonna kick the knee up into the hand. Same side, same side to side, side to side. Let's kick and kick and kick. Let's get those knees up. Ten more seconds. Woo! Get those knees high. Arms down. All right, ten minutes in the books, halfway through. Great job. Let's go, nice vigorous pace, everyone. Now we're gonna take our legs wide. You're gonna bend the knees, but keep the chest up. Touch the floor, then reach up. Down, up, up and down. Look forward when you bend your knees and then come up. Ten more seconds. Last one. Okay, back to March. Okay, heel taps. Heel tap, reach up. Heel tap, reach up. Cycle through, heel tap, reach up. Side to side, to side. So you're trying to kick the heels up and not leaning too much if possible, okay? So kick.
Okay, arms down. Let's reset. All right, we're gonna take our legs wide. Touch, 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 touch. You tap the knee. Move side to side. Slight bend in both knees. Good job. Let's go. 20 more seconds. Any vigorous movement you can maintain here is amazing. Let's go. Bring your legs back. Let's reset. Stuff. March, march, march. This time, hand to the opposite shin. Tap, 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 tap. So you got to kick a little bit higher. Other arm can go up. One more second. Big kicks, big kicks. Ten more seconds. Arms down, reset. Woo. Everybody push your body. Yeah, great old tunes. These are the disco tunes, right? They knew what they were talking about. Okay, this time, right hand to left heel. Or anywhere on the leg. Again, yeah, lift the other arm. Kick. Try not to lean forward. Stand straight. Do the kick instead, okay? Best job. Good stuff. Best effort here, kick, 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 or just the leg. Any amount here is good, any amount. 10 more seconds. All right, that's it, back to marching. 15 minutes in the books, only five minutes left to go. Stay with it, everyone. Another five minutes. Okay. Clap under. Clap under the leg this time. And you're still kicking that leg up. Don't lean forward. Up. Twenty more seconds. Ten more seconds. Back to marching. Great job. All right. The next 45 seconds or so, we're going to come down to the floor. Try not to touch with your hands until you get there. Stand up. Reach up. So any amount here, come down to the floor. If you want to hold on to your body, that's fine. Touch the floor, stand up, reach up, come back down. Take your time. More technique here. Touch, stand and lift, repeat. Touch, use the opposite leg to stand, come down, repeat. We're not rushing, no need to rush. Just do the movement, full body movement. Do fewer of them. 
with some pretty decent technique, control the movement. One more as I come down. Come back up. Good job. Back to a reset. Let's go marching. Great job. Take the arms straight out. Do some arm circles. Arm circles. Tiny little circles. Move those legs. Get the arms moving as well. Great job, everyone. Now take the arms in the other direction. So other circle, other direction of the arms. And drop the arms down. Good stuff. Let's just march it out. All right, this is running man position. Right leg comes up. So right leg, just the right leg. Pulse that right leg back and forth. Arms keep moving. One leg only. One leg. Okay, we're going to switch legs. Left leg this time. Left leg. Woo! <laughs> Let's get that left leg going. Arms move, legs move. Great job, 10 more seconds. Back to neutral position, last minute. Great job, let's go, pick up that pace. Last minute, solid march here. Get those legs moving, arms moving. I'll call out the 30 second mark when we get there, okay? Almost there. 20, uh, not quite, hang on one second. Keep going, <laughs> almost there. 30 seconds starts right now, 30 seconds. When we get to 10 seconds, that's when you'll turbocharge it and give it the fastest and safest movement for the last few seconds. 10 seconds starts. Right now, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, last one, and all done. 20 minutes in the books. Great job, everyone. Whew, okay, good stuff. Let me move this stuff around a little bit. I'm going to lower the camera. And as mentioned, we're going to be down onto the floor, working our back muscles for today. Really important and often overlooked and neglected in a lot of exercise movements. Okay, a little sip of water. And then you should be good to go. All right, we're going to lie down onto the floor. Come on up onto your forearms at first. Get a bit of a back bend. So you see my back is bending here. Take the elbows a little bit wider. So kind of a sphinx position here. We do this in yoga quite a bit. We point the toes and we lift the chest away from the floor. And then we lower down a little bit. Lift and lower just to engage our back. Now keep your abdominal muscles contracted if you can, and that will stop any pinching into the lower back. We want to protect the lower back at all times. So nothing into the lower back. Lift the chest away and then come down again. So just go up and down a few times just to engage this movement. So if you notice probably you're bending or excuse me, uh, pushing into your elbows and forearms quite a bit. We're gonna try and mimic these types of movements without pressing into the floor. So the first one is called a snow angel. We've all done snow angels with our kids uh, or grandkids or whatever. It's a very simple movement, but can be quite challenging. So point your toes. 
So the heels are not up, the toes are pointed, the arms are forward. Now you're going to lift the arms and legs, bring them both to the side, come back and then lower down. So you relax for a brief moment. Come up, lift up, lift everything up, legs and arms to the side, back to neutral and then lower down. Then we repeat. So it's up, out, back and down. Up, out, back and down. We're gonna do that for 45 seconds. Okay, good job, everyone. Get my timer, uh, or I need to adjust just to figure out. Uh, another 10 seconds. Keep going for another 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and last one. Take a quick break. Okay, let me just check our programming for today to make sure that we're all on the same page. Okay, next movement. There's a couple different ways of doing this, so I want to just give it a shot and see how it works. The idea, again, is to lift the chest off the floor. This is swimmer position. So the right arm goes up and the left leg goes up, and then you do the opposite. So opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift the chest away, lift the legs up. So you're engaging your glutes in this position. Okay, again, lying in this position, opposite arm, opposite leg, or you can swim in that um, as another variable. Lift the chest up, move the arms and legs. Whew, I find that very, very challenging to do. So you just mix it up between the two, go slow swimmer and fast swimmer. 15 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and last one. Quick break. Whew, okay. Now you can also, uh, when you take a break, you can bend your knees, drop the legs a little bit side to side. Feels good in the lower back. Okay, this next movement is called a military press. We come up, hands and knees. Now you can also do this in a plank position, but for now, let's just do this in hands and knees position. Bend the elbows, come down, and then come back up again. Come down, up. Now you can try with one leg back. Maybe both back in plank. Any of those variables are good, or just down onto the knees. Fifty more seconds. And maybe one leg back. Do the last one and then take a quick break. Okay, good job. This next one is a forearm plank hold. So we're going to hold plank. Now the option is to drop a knee. So let's just give that a shot. Come down onto your hands and knees at first. Send one leg back and then send the other leg back. Typically the butt goes high, so we want to lower down, stay in this position. Maybe drop a knee to take a quick break. Then straighten it out, maybe drop the other one and take a quick break, or hold here in forearm plank. 20 seconds. Again, if you need to take a break, just bring a knee down, maybe both. Then take one up, and then go back. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and then come down, take a quick, quick break. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna move on to the side. So that was some of the 
back activation. Now we're going to move into the hips more to the side here. And this is our Pilates movement. All of this has been Pilates. We're going to lie down onto the side, bend the legs, one foot on top of the other, and just rest in this position. Now, if this is a, this is a movement that's also progressive and it's great to use uh, bands across our, um, our lap here for additional resistance. But to get the technique, what we're going to do, think about heel to heel touching. The heels touch. And we all know who Charlie Chaplin is, yeah? So we're going to turn the feet out like Chaplin does, but heels touching. And then the, this leg comes up. So think about a clam. We're going to close the clam, open the clam, and I'm pivoting onto the heel. Now, if you can lift the other heel up as well, that's kind of cool. That's next level of this uh, particular positioning uh, movement. Or drop the foot down. So either way, both heels up, and then you pivot in and out. Again, if you have a strap around here, it's all next level stuff. And then you can start with light bands, and then you start with, or go into heavier bands. So it's progressive. You open, 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 close. Open, 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 and then close. Do another five, four, three, and you're trying to really open the leg up. Two, last one. Take a quick break. Okay, quick 15 second break. Start to feel that already. Right here. So you want to really exaggerate this opening and closing, opening and closing, and the exaggeration activates that muscle group and creates the strength. Now, the next movement is similar. So again, it's, this is progressive, heel to heel action. You're going to try and lift the legs off the floor. If you can't quite manage, put them back onto the floor, try to lift the heel. So you're here and then you open and close and open and close with the legs lifted. This is going to engage the side of your body to create this crunch. And then you open and close any amount here, open and close. So with the legs up, it's a whole, other level of intensity in and out in and out if you need to take a break you just lower them down and but continue the movement 15 more seconds lift open and close five more seconds and take a quick break. Okay, we're doing about four of these different movements. Okay, from here, what we're going to do, the next movement, just take a quick break while I show it to you. You're going to open up again, heel to heel, but this time you lift the leg up and bring the knee in front of the other one. So if you notice, I have a bit of rotation, and then I come up and open up again. Open, close. Open, heel to heel, flex those feet so you're not lazy feet here extend the feet into flexion and then in out in out in out really open up that leg so you're opening and then reaching over and then coming back 15 more seconds Last five seconds. And take a quick break. Okay, 15 second break. While you're taking the break, I'll show you the next movement. This time we're going to go knee to knee, and then you're going to extend, come forward, extend, and come forward. Okay, so this is the movement. Let's just go ahead and start. Start with knee to knee, and then just extend it out. Keep the leg lifted and come forward press the heel out draw the knee in press the heel out and notice that the upper body is moving a lot you're going to try and just do this through the leg leg lifts leg gets heavy after a while you can take a break at any time just take a quick break and then you go right back to it again after you take a two three second break and here we go another 15 seconds 
push that heel, push that heel, knee in, heel out. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice kick and take a quick break. I feel that a lot. It's burning right here, which is where I want it to go. Perfect stuff. Okay, we're gonna move to the other side. Sadly, we have a other side as well. Left and right. And draw your knees in, take the elbow underneath the shoulder or any position here that keeps you upright. Try not to dump into the shoulder. So stay up. If you notice that the earlobe is getting really close to that shoulder, you're slacking and dumping into it, stay up, okay? And then heel to heel, let's open and close. Get the action happening on this side. And you want to squeeze your bum behind you. That creates this opening of the leg. In and out. Flex those feet. Use your heels as the pivot point. And if you start to feel like you're leaning back, just come up a little bit more upright. Stay as upright as you can. And then isolate the movement of the leg. 50 more seconds. Good job. And if you have a strap or a band across your legs, this is a next level of intensity. Last five seconds. And last one, take a quick break, 15 second break. Good job. Okay, a couple more to do. And again, this time you can repeat that movement or try and lift both legs off the floor and then open close with your legs hovering. And notice what happens. For me, I tend to lean back, so I'm going to try and lean forward. That makes the legs heavier. And if you need to take a break, you just take a break or go back to the one leg on the floor position as the variable. And then eventually lift, even if you do one or two, and then you come down. Do one or two, and then come down. Last 10 seconds. And last one, okay, quick break. Whew. Okay, quick break, everyone, good stuff. All right, this next movement again is the opening, lift, and then you bring that knee forward on this side. And then again, heel to heel, open it right up, and then close it up. Slow movements, watch the technique. Let's engage the muscle groups that we're really working here, which is all to the outside of the hip. Of course, our core control is keeping us in this position. Twenty more seconds. Again, heel to heel. You're flexing the feet, opening up. Some of these movements will be more intense. Some a little bit less. Just depends on our body type and what is a little bit more natural for us to do. But all really good functional stuff. This is functional strengthening movement. Last one. And come down and take a quick break. Whew, okay. This is just another great way to fire up all these areas that we typically avoid in some of the exercises that we do. So we uh, want to strengthen it all up and uh, this will help in your walking and especially moving up and down the stairs. Okay, last one gang from here. I'm just going to extend and then bring back. Extend the heel, extend the leg, come back. Do the best you can as you're just trying to isolate this one leg movement. I'm going to move for about 45 seconds here. Keeping the leg up, pressing out, and then coming back. Fifteen seconds left to go. And here we go for the last five, four, three, two, 
Last one, kick that out and bring the leg down. Whoa, I feel that burning pretty good. All right, everyone, that's it for today, Wednesday, midweek. We'll be back on Friday.